doing a ride to test the brake-free light. I got my brake-free light in the mail. Awesome, I'm looking forward to this. So, this is a light that goes on the back of my helmet. And, no, oh, a smarter way to be seen. <laughs> Uh, goes on the back of the helmet and um, is not hooked up to an app or me or the bike. Just glued on the back of the helmet. And it knows when I stop or slow down even, the lights go off. <clears throat> Please read Quick Start Guide and then how to find them. Quick start guide. Quick start guide. <laughs> Under a template. Uh, this is to put it on the helmet. There's a template. And quick start guide is all pictures. Awesome. Love that. <laughs> pictures so it's easy. <laughs> and then the box. <clears throat> light itself. Oh, it's actually lighter than I thought it would be, so that's nice. So, okay, break free in the middle, and I'm going to go on the back of my helmet. Back of my helmet. A little picture tells you. Look under here. The alcohol wipe to clean the helmet. The 3M attachment that's going to go on here, and then to your helmet. This is what holds it onto your helmet. Love 3M. Have everything attached to my helmet with 3M products and the recharger. So, uh, the charger, let's see, it's on the bottom. So, recharge is in there, nice and easily. And then a cover, so it's waterproof. Push that in a little bit, that's easy. And the end looks like the same to my cell phone. I want to get a close up of that or not. kind of average recharger, which is awesome. So easy to find these things. So that is the product. So I'm gonna read the quick start guide. Read this, it says, read quick start guide. I'm gonna follow the instructions. <laughs> Get my helmet, clean it, and put it on. I will read the quick start guide, but gonna show you the modes first. So turning it on. It flashes a couple of times to let you know it's on, and then it stays solid. The light's in the middle. So if I'm going and stopping slowly, it lights up. If I'm going and stop fast, it flashes. So nice and bright, everyone can see me from behind. Second mode, the lights up all the lights all the way around. Same thing, if I'm going and stop slowly, it goes a little bit brighter. If I'm going and stop fast, it flashes. Okay, and third mode. It's always flashing. The sides are always flashing. The middle staying solid. So same thing. Lights up brighter when I slow stop. And fast stop, it flashes. So I'm just pressing the little button at the top. That's it. To change the modes and turn it on and off. To turn it off, press it down and hold down for two seconds, and it's off. So we wanted to check the actual weight of this because it does feel pretty light, which is awesome. Um, so, got a little scale here, putting it down. It is 6.9 ounces, which is the same as 0 0.431 pounds. So yeah, that's pretty light. <laughs> so perfect. It's also waterproof, which is a bonus because always ride in the rain. We seem to ride in the rain if we want to or not. We did buy extra mounts um, for the back of the helmet to attach this. Uh, we do have more than one helmet, so wanted to make sure we could just put these on each helmet and then easily take this off of one helmet and put it on another helmet. All right, so now I'm gonna put the mount on the helmet. I'm gonna use the alcohol wipe that was provided in the box. So pretty straightforward if you've done any other 3M product. You've done this before. So I have already placed this 
on the helmet and found the spot that I want to put it on. I want to put it on low enough that it's eye level to the people behind me that are hopefully not going to hit me. Um, and then the spot that fits nicely with it, nice and snug. So for me, that's right here. So I'm going to clean this. I'm just going to go ahead and clean the whole area. All right, I'm just going to let that dry for a sec. And I'm just placing that there for a minute just to make sure I have it the, the correct direction. That it goes with the button, the on off button and the mode button facing up and the recharging little port facing down. So as long as you do that, you stick it on the right way. I'm waiting for this to dry, so I'm not going to touch it for a minute. Um, the kit does come with a template. I am not going to use a template because um, I found it was easy enough just to put this on and figure out where I wanted it. Um, I figured out there right if I line the bottom of this up with the top of the DOT sticker then it's perfectly centered already so it's kind of nice it has a perfectly centered spot already for me and I need to figure that out and it's the correct height for when that when this goes on it's in the correct spot. We put the mount on so now we're going to wait the recommended two hours at least uh, to ride it and let that glue set up. Plug this in to be recharged and it blinks. When the brake free light is fully charged, the lights go solid.
mode one, the middle lights are solid. Mode two. In mode two, all the lights are solid. The camera doesn't pick it up as solid in the daylight, similar to my backlight. vehicles behind me. A smarter way to be seen. Check out my social media to follow my moto adventures.